Good evening. Now I have to talk about like legalization and the criminalization of marijuana. Legal or not legal, that is the question. Hope, hope is what we want. We want change. We want to fight, fight cancer. As you can see on the left side of the screen, you can see how uh, we have the prison system being filled behind inmates being charged for marijuana or possession of marijuana. And as you see in the background, we have the Capitol building, which is where lawmakers go to sit down and uh, have a debate on whether they should legalize or not legalize. The FDA, however, scientifically studied for the chemicals in marijuana has led to two FDA-approved medications that contain the chemicals in marijuana in a pill form. Continued research may lead to more medication. The FDA requires carefully conducted study chemical trials in, in hundreds to thousands of human subjects to determine the benefits of marijuana usage and the risk of possible medication. So far, researchers have not conducted enough large-scale chemical trials to determine this factor. Therefore, it causes marijuana not to be legalized at this time in all states. Human safety is a huge key part before legalizing this, this drug. The use and consumption in the human population is the key. Economic benefit, it can, cause, it can become a cash crop i.e. back in history, tobacco became a cash crop. Rise and decrease in criminal activity. I think there will be a decrease in criminal activities, but there's always a factor. There's always a uh, what if in the back of your head saying what crime does rise. Effects on employment. This could affect employment, but it all depends on who the employer, employer is and their uh, supporting operation. For that job. Painful legal treatment, damaging body and income. Chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. Surgical removal of any cancer is always painful. And it can also be painful in the pockets of families who may not have health care or medical care. Uh, the other day, checked out a research and researched some things online and saw there was a family who had to leave Colorado to uh, get their daughter uh, benefits, uh, to get their daughter to a hospital that would help fight, fight her cancer. But the only thing that would help was the use of marijuana. And they had to move back to Colorado in order to do that. But if they would have moved with that product with them to the next location, they could have been uh, locked away time in, in jail or prison. So that goes to show you that how the benefits of medical, medical marijuana can help patients and deal with those pains and, and help fight that cancer that's still growing and spreading. Money is a big benefit when it comes to this crop. It's just figuring out a way to tax, to tax this crop. There's already dispensaries throughout some parts of the United States and are legalized, and are and those personnel that are growers are actually gaining uh, money and cash crops. We have some people also that are investing their money in stocks when it comes to this industry. Where would the money go? The tax and the taxes from this uh, cash crop or this uh, medicinal uh, drug can go to schools, hospitals privatized prisons, construction, and any other uh, beneficial that can uh, help out the federal government. As you can see to the uh, far left, we have a map showing states that have truly legalized or uh, states that have halfway legalized the, the use of marijuana for medicinal use only, or states that have not passed, passed the law for the use of marijuana. The biggest uh, eye opener was Washington, D.C., legalizing the, the use of marijuana. Also, we have 16 states that are recognized to have medical uh, marijuana, 14 states that have uh, decriminalized person, personal use of marijuana. So, we can already see the use of marijuana has been decriminalized, but it has not uh, reduced.
through some of the time for prison got locked away. Should prisoners be released or not be released? Taxpayers pay over a billion dollars per year in inmates being housed in prison and uh, in jail behind marijuana. I feel that if that's the case, why are these prisoners not out? Why are these prisoners not released back into society to try to live their right correct, live their life correctly? Inmates charged for marijuana still being held and accountable for more than more than time than murderers and sex offenders. It's outrageous. There should be no reason why a person should be housed in prison behind a drug that's being legalized behind or and have more time than a murderer or a sex offender. That's ludicrous. So the message of this I'm telling to you all is that we need to keep fighting in support of trying to legalize marijuana for the benefits of fighting cancer. As you can see, you have loved ones. This can be your loved one on the screen right here, still fighting, still trying to make it, to make use 